Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about the elimination of unit productions. Now, what are the unit productions? Productions of context-free grammar, which are of the form A derives B, where A and B are variables. So, are unit productions. So, Unit productions are those productions of context-free grammar in which there is only one variable at their right-hand side. Now see, if there is a unit production A derives B, then we will say B is A derivable. If there is a unit production X derives Y, and x is a derivable and variable y is not equal to variable a then variable y is a derivable suppose there is a grammar g in which there are these three unit productions a derives b b derives c and c derives t now see this unit production a derives b so it means b is a derivable now see this production b derives c B is A derivable, therefore C is also A derivable. Now see this unit production, C derives T, where C is A derivable, right? So, D is also A derivable. Now, if there is a context-free grammar G defined by the quadruple V, T, P, S, where V is a set of variables, T is the set of terminals, P is the set of productions, and S is the start symbol. The grammar G is without empty productions. Then we can eliminate all unit productions from grammar G without affecting its language. Now how we can eliminate? What is the way to eliminate unit productions from a grammar G which doesn't have empty productions without affecting its language? First step is for every pair of variable AB where B is A derivable and every non-unit production B derives alpha. We will add a production A derives alpha to set P. After this we will remove all unit productions from set P. Now it would be more clear after this example. Now see, there is a grammar G defined by quadruple V T P S, where V is the set of variables, T is the set of terminals and P is the set of productions. S is the start symbol. Now these are the productions which are in the set P. S drives A, S drives BC, A drives B, A drives CA, B derives S, B drives AB. Now we have to eliminate unit productions from this grammar G without affecting its language. Right. So First of all, see the unit productions. 
Now see these unit productions. S derives A, A derives B, and B derives S. A is S derivable, right? Now see the unit production A derives B. A is S derivable, so B will also be S derivable, right? So variables A and B are S derivable. Now see this production B drives S. B is S derivable. But right hand side of this production is S. Right. Now see this production A drives B. Here B is A derivable. Right. Now see this unit production B drives S. Since B is A derivable, S is also A derivable. Now see this unit production B drives S. So S is B derivable, right? Now see this production S drives A and S is B derivable. So A is also B derivable, right? Now Now see the non-unit productions for the variables S, A and B. S derives BC, A derives CA and B derives AB are the non-unit productions. Now see S is A derivable and non-unit production for S is S derives BC. So we will add a production A derives BC to set B. B is also A derivable. Non-unit production for B is B derives AB. So we will add a production A derives AB to set P. A is S derivable. Right. Non-unit production for A is A derives CA. So we will add a production S derives CA to set P. B is also S derivable. For B there is a non-unit production B derives AB so we will add a production S derives AB to set P now see S is B derivable non-unit production for S is S derives PC so we will add a production B derives PC to set P A is also B derivable non-unit production for A is a derives CA. So we will add a production B derives CA to set P. And we will remove all the unit productions from set P. Now the set P will contain these productions. Right. So now the grammar G doesn't contain any unit production. Right. So in this way we can eliminate unit productions from a grammar G which is without empty productions. Right. Thank you very much.